check out another glassing point I had marked from some e scouting and see how that spot looks. And check a few different spots, see what looks best, and see where we kind of want to park it for most of the day and just glass. Hopefully, we can find a bear. I haven't seen one yet this season, so the goal is to find one today. At least find one and get some video of it. I don't know, I'll be perfectly happy if we could do that. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure if we got it on camera or not, but on our way to this glassing point, we spotted a sow down in the bottom of this drainage with a uh, cub. It was a really dark um, chocolate sow, and her cub was like extremely blonde. So it was pretty cool, and they were wrestling in the grass down below us and running around and just playing. I don't, I couldn't get the spotting scope out in time before we lost them in the trees, but. So we're gonna keep glass in this hillside that they were down in the bottom of, and hopefully we can find a boar, a solo boar out here. Yeah, you gotta hurry. Where is it? It's in that, you need to come up here. You have to come up here, Jace. It's going down. You're going to miss your opportunity. Come right here. We were just about to move spots and go to a new glassing area. Right when we stood up, Chloe spotted a big blonde black bear down in this meadow we've been glassing. And I... I came down to a flat spot to try to lay my rifle out to set up for a shot, but he walked into some thicker stuff and now we lost him. So, oh man, that got my heart pumping. He was a big looking, nice, dark chocolate, well, light chocolate, blonde, cinnamon, whatever the heck you want to call it, brown bear, not brown bear, black bear. I just can't believe he, he just, as quick as he came out, he left. Man, he's, oh my gosh. We gotta get eyes on him again. The one extremely unfun part about bear hunting is the enormous amount of ticks that you get on you. Chloe pulled one out of my beard. <laughs> oh shoot, I dropped it. I gotta kill him. At least, at least we've seen three bears today, two ticks. So we're winning in that category. So we finally got a bear spotted here. It's about a little more than a half mile as the crow flies. As a, I just checked my own X maps. And so I'm just here sitting here watching it, kind of seeing, trying to judge it and see what I think about it. I, if I had to guess, I think it's a sow or maybe a young boar. But my bears, my bear um, judging abilities aren't that great, but it's not like a super abnormally big bear. 
but it's a good looking bear. Nice black coat on it. And okay, now that it's broadside, yeah, it doesn't have a really big swooping belly on it. So it's not like it's a super, super big bear, but it's good bear nonetheless. And so I'm, I'm happy with just sitting back this evening and watching it rather than going after it. So I'm just happy I found one. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. They're so fun to just watch. So yeah, that's awesome. I've got one on the board. Rain is looking like it's going to be in the forecast for the next few days. So I wanted to make sure to get out this evening. shoulder up. Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Okay. You got him. Stay on him, you on him? Oh, I see him. You, okay, stop, shoot again. I'm on him. Okay. Should I give him another one? Just a second. Yeah, give him another one. He's behind a bush. Yeah, just wait. Yeah. If you, if you, there he goes. He just tipped over, yeah. but. Find that tree. Just stay on him. 
time to go in for the recovery. Right, I'll follow you. Go in towards the red juniper. There he is. Nice. Brandon for all the help. You're welcome. It's a good looking little guy. Man. Nice job. Well, feels good to have a couple tax punched for 2020 already. Yeah. Yeah. Got your trick tag punched. And... Yeah, your break tag punched. First bear. That's cool. Teeth are chipped up by us. Yeah, I think this is a super old bear. Or else she's been eating rocks. Yeah. No, this is an old bear, dude. Holy smokes. That's what I was thinking. She has no teeth left. Chopped it. Like teeth. none. She just looks like a little old granny eyes. Yeah, look at her eyes. Dude, that is cool. Okay. That's just a super old. That's awesome. Dude, she has no teeth. Yeah. I bet she's over 20 years old. So will FWP age it? Send you in. Oh, I'd be really curious to see. Good luck pulling one of those teeth though. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, you said what, what was the date? Today is May 9th. Can I send a picture of the Yeah. I, I, I saw he sent another video, but I, I didn't, I don't think it, down, it downloaded on my phone yet, I wonder. He got him too. Loaded.
Well, helps when you hunt with your friend who works at Stone Glacier. Make sure your pack isn't all jacked up like mine usually is. <laughs> Get you fixed up. I found out last year that I was running my bag all sorts of wrong. I wasn't connected to the frame. <laughs> Luckily, Brandon was there to save the day. Yeah, Alright, here we go. Sit right in the thorn bush. Right now. <laughs> it, that, that's what uh, gives you an extra launch when you go to stand up. Yeah, a little motivation. If you want to get off, you just jump up after sitting on thorns. Oh, yeah. Come on, Good. Well, we've got about a mile left out of this pack out here, and our buddy, we've been talking to our buddy McCann, he's not too far from us, and he's got a bear down too. So we're gonna get my bear to the truck, then we're gonna go find him, help him back out his. Two bears in one day, it's pretty sweet. So I'm over here at Matson's Laboratory over in Manhattan, Montana, and I just dropped off a couple teeth from my black bear. As you guys saw, she had no teeth left in her, like, and the, the few that she did were just, just all chipped up and ground down, like, so she looked like a really old bear. So I dropped the teeth off here at the lab, and they're going to get those um, aged for me. So I got that taken care of. Yesterday I dropped off the hide over at the taxidermist and I also just yesterday finished processing all the meat as well. So I've got it all taken care of. So I'm really excited with the way this um, spring black bear season went and it's been a lot of fun. Huge shout out to Brandon for helping me with the hunt over the weekend and then Chloe for going out with me a few times before then and helping out with filming and stuff. So big shout out to them. And if you guys want to find out how old this bear was, because I'm really interested in knowing how old it is, um, follow me on Instagram. That's just at Jace McVetridge. I will, once I get the results back, I'll post a picture or something on Instagram um, about how old this bear was. So if you want to see that, go ahead and follow me over there and stay tuned. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.